Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. In today's video, I'm going to compare two eyebrow products, the Glossier Brow Flick and the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. Now, for those of you who are new in here, I'm a huge fan of the Glossier Brow Flick. This is a product that creates those very, very fine lines that imitate the hair in the brows. And not just that, it's the most long-lasting product that I've ever used. If you apply this before anything on your face, this will stay put until you decide to remove it. The Glossier Brow Flick only comes in three colors and also Glossier is not available worldwide. It is available in the US and in some countries in Europe but not everywhere. Because I use this so often I constantly get messages from all over the world asking me is there any similar product that you could recommend that could replace the brow flick because they don't ship to my country. I was very excited when Anastasia Beverly Hills sent me the brow pens. Anastasia came with nine different colors for this product. It has a very, very similar tip. I'm gonna get you closer so you could see. These are the two tips. Like I said, they're very, very similar. I feel like the brow flake is a little bit thinner all over. And then the brow pen from Anastasia starts a little bit thicker but then it goes very very fine on the tip. I've only received seven colors so I'm sorry I don't have all, every single one of the colors. A little background, I used to work for Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is how I got to Paris so I know a lot about the brand. I could say I am a brow expert because of my experience working as a makeup artist but also because of my special training that I had with Anastasia and her team and then working as a trainer. Basically, this was my job. I, I was working as a trainer in Sephora, France for Anastasia Beverly Hills. So my, my job was literally to go from store to store and train the staff and teach them how to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills products. People, the consumer need to understand that it was a product for each and every one of them. Anastasia had a similar product before, but it was available in only two colors. Now with this very natural looking makeup trend, because it is a trend, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that right now there is this trend about, you know, all about natural makeup, all about natural and unplugged eyebrows. It was about time for Anastasia to relaunch this product. I'm going to show you all the colors from the glossy brow flick. There are only three, like I said, blonde, brown, black, and show you the seven colors that I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills so that you have a little guidance in terms of colors. I'm going to start with the Glossier brow flick in blonde. Brown. and black. That I'll put a block of color next to it. Now this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe. I feel like the taupe could have been a little bit cooler as in tone than this. Next is caramel. Next is soft brown. It's very liquidy, I feel like, right now. I didn't feel it at all like that when I was using it in my eyebrows. Next one is medium brown, which I feel like it will be the most requested color. This is the color of my brows. Very, very similar with the brown from Glossier Brow Flick right here. Next one is a dark brown. Ebony. And granite. On
on this side of my face I'm going to use Glossier Brow Flick and then on this brow I'm going to use the new Anastasia Brow Pen. With the brow flick, it takes me about 30 seconds to do one eyebrow. I kind of exaggerated with the way I filled my eyebrows right now because I was trying to just do more strokes, but I normally do less than this. I'm just trying to show you um, how easy the brow flick works. Now I'm going to let this dry and show you that even when you touch this, the product does not move. There's literally nothing on my finger and the eyebrows are intact. It's very important with this product to apply it preferably before you do your skincare. And I already have skincare on, but I've noticed that when I apply this before my skincare, you guys, I could literally go at the pool. Nothing would happen with my eyebrows. Now, let me do this eyebrow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. From what I saw, the closest color to um the glossier brow flick in brown would be medium brown from anastasia beverly hills Okay, now as you can see, this eyebrow is naturally much lower than my right one. It is what it is. We're not going to talk about that now. What I want to talk about is how fine the tip of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen is. I dare to say, I'm not sure if it's just because it's a new product. I've got the brow flick now for a few months and it does, the tip does get a little bit thicker with time the little strokes are so much thinner than on this side the color is exactly the same i do not see a difference maybe i don't know what you guys see on the camera but for real i see that the brow flick is slightly slightly cooler than the brow pen from Anastasia. Now, let's do the test with the finger. I do have a little bit of product and it de and I feel like it definitely smudged a bit. Just a bit. I might also be a little bit sweaty cuz it's super hot in here. Now, my final thoughts after I was using both of the products, I could tell you this. They're both amazing products. I think that they both have advantages and disadvantages. For example, the brow flick, I think three colors is just not enough. However, so far when I was using on clients, I didn't really feel the need of a lot more colors, maybe two or three in addition to the three that they have right now would be more than enough. Another disadvantage that I think Glossier has is that it's not available worldwide. Anastasia, on the other hand, I think the product is amazing. I love the tip. It's actually very, very similar. Like I've showed you with the Glossier Brow Flick, there are nine colors available. That's amazing. Some of the colors are I'm, I'm not very happy with, like for example, taupe. I think there could have been a color in this range that was a little bit more grayish. The disadvantage with Anastasia is that I've noticed that when you touch it, it does smudge a tiny little bit. I'm going to keep on using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen and keep you guys updated with how it performs. Now here comes 
the most important question, which one of the two do I recommend? I don't know, okay? Why do I have to choose? They're both so good. <laughs> They really are. There is a very important aspect that we did not discuss, and that is price. I don't know the price of the brow pen, but, but I think that by the time I'm posting this video, the brow pen will be available and I will know the prices. Anastasia being available worldwide and having such a variety of colors, I would right now recommend you to try this especially if you can't put your hands on brow flick. If you have tried brow flick and the pen comes to an end, maybe your next purchase should be the Anastasia brow pen. Here's the thing, whatever of the two you're going to buy, you're not gonna feel like you're, you've been wasting your money at all. Longevity, they're both very long lasting. I've used them both, I've tried them both. They're both very long lasting. A good tip, no matter which one you're going to buy, you need to store it with the head down so that the tip never gets dry. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna, if you want me to do these comparison videos. There are very similar products on the market and if you guys give me like a duo or a trio of products, I would love to compare it for you, test it for you so you don't have to waste your money trying. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Jesus Christ, this is fantastic for this step. What? Would you like to come so I could show how I could feel, how you could feel in your beard? You know, there are people that have like spots. It's just for science purposes.